Okay, so I want to work on a mod that changes what, um, whatever his name is, mm, Kostalton looks like. Um, I'm not huge on him, uh, as in I hate what he looks like. Um, I get that he's kind of, they're going for a Rasputin look and everything. But one, I would say Rasputin at least could dress up sort of. He didn't look as crazy as he was. Um, clearly their design is kind of based on something like this, his caricature. Uh, but, and I get that, but it just doesn't really work for me. So I want to kind of turn it into somebody who, um, like who looks cooler, I guess that's really what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use asset editor. Now I've already done this, but I want to walk you through some basics of it. And there's a couple things that I, I did in the scrag video that, um, I've already kind of covered with this, so I'm not going to spend too much time with it, but I do want to talk about, I changed his weapon as well. So first of all, a couple basics. One, I moved his sword or his little um, knife out um, so that this armor wasn't in the way. But the idea here was one, somebody who is slightly better like groomed, I guess, shaved his head rather than going just like bald and long. Um, now the head here is a streltsy head um so i had to scale it down because these guys are humanoid uh like one c's so they're a little bit bigger they're about in my experience about 20 percent bigger than normal human males i also used the ice guard body to give him a little bit of armor and on his chest, I used a um, ice guard or a winged lancer body. So breaking it down, we can see the parts that are Kostalton or whatever his name is are this. I have his mouth. I've got this bit. I brought his necklace out a bit, and I um, deleted most everything else. Kept his uh, dress, no legs. Okay, so then I did his head again scaled it down a bit and moved it into position and i did the um, breastplate here over his clothes kind of like he threw it on over it um, i also used the bits of ice guard here and you can see it better if i kind of remove this and remove that you can see what parts are the ice guard so otherwise i deleted them um, his legs in the model were about this long as well i just didn't really care for his his pants his, or his boots. So I changed those as well, but kept these the same. There's a bit of clipping with the legs due to his animation on the bear, but I wanted to keep it at the same level that it was in the kind of original file. Okay. So um, basically I did the same things that I did on the um, Scrag one. So if you want more on how to like re uh, to change the animations to fit that skeleton. Re-rigging is what it's called. You can watch that. But basically, when I wanted to rig something, I would just choose the part I wanted to re-rig and hit open re-rigging tool. Now, the thing that I did do here was I created, um, I, I changed his scepter. So if we go to variant models, I did not mean to hit mesh definitions, variant models, he is an HU1 and key sleeve, props. And we can take a look at his scepter rigid model here. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. Um, oh, I did Katarin's, excuse me. Um, Kostalton's right there, okay. Too many Ks. All right, not a fan of it. I know it's kind of like a sensor, I suppose, but it just doesn't look like much of a weapon. Also, I felt like the scale was much too big in the original. So what I did was I first took this file and if we break it up using F2, uh, um, rather than splitting it, because I just know that this split didn't really split well into the parts that I wanted because I want to knock off this whole head. Uh, what I did was just hit F2 to bring up its vertexes or whatever the view this is called. Face mode is what it's called and I just deleted off the part I didn't like. I wanted to keep this, but the other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to, you can actually see this render box too. Okay, so that's an important aspect. So we have the pivot, which is just where it pivots. We can see where it pivots. 
And this can be used as a reference. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do with this is I didn't like the scale, so I scaled it down. So let's say scale wise, X would be 80%. I know it's 81, but you know, whatever. And then the length though, I don't wanna scale it down that much, so 0.9. Okay, so it's a little bit smaller. Now, I still have the same pivot point. So what I wanna do is I'm going to want to move this thing up a little bit because I want, essentially the way he was holding it was kind of centered, which seems a little bit weird if you're gonna swing it as a weapon. So kind of brought it up just a little bit. Now, sometimes it's just a matter of playing around with it to get a good feel for it. Sometimes, you can just uh, render it into this model by importing it and setting it. But for some reason in Warhammer 3 files lately, I did it with Warhammer 2, but with Warhammer 3 files, um, I, I did not have any success with that for whatever reason. Not really sure why. So what I wanna do is kind of change this head. So I'm gonna put in another file. So let's just look up another mace head. I went with another key sliv head, the two-handed maces of theirs. So that way it kind of kept with the same theme. So if we take a look at this, okay, let's say I want to put this head on it. It's not the head I chose, but you get the idea. We're going to make this editable and I'm going to view this and see if I can break it into the parts that I care about. I can. So I'm going to delete off the parts I don't want and I just want this head. Okay, so I'm gonna reconnect them all with this button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this part and I'm going to take its pivot and I'm gonna copy it to all meshes. Now this thing has the same uh, pivot point. And I'm gonna move it down to that point. Now it's currently way too big, but I can play around with the scales if I want. Maybe I want it that big. So let's say that this is what I'm going for. Now, this should be okay, but like I said, if he's holding it up further than I want or down lower than I want, all I have to do is just move it a little bit forward or back, and that will adjust it. And sometimes it's just a matter of loading it into the game to, to make sure that it's working out okay. All right, so then I just do the same things. I auto-generate the loads and I save it. So I now have the files the weapon files and his files saved. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to pack file and I'm going to create a new pack file. All right, so I'll add from pack file. I'm going to first start with my files themselves. So if I go to where I save my asset editor ones, which is in my mods here, reskins, I am gonna put the Dalton body, this is the 11, and the scepter here. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to get them actually into the game properly. So I need to go to his variant mesh definition, which is in my data in Warhammer 3's uh, data file. And I'm going to go down to campaign variants. Campaign variants is where the variant meshes are for uh, faction leaders. And I'm going to go to variant mesh definition for. Dalton or whatever. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. So, okay. So first off, he has a body and head. That's one thing I should note is that some files have them separated into parts and some don't. There's no consistency. So in his case, he has a head and a body, but because the file I made is all in one, I prefer to do it that way. Usually I'm going to go through and delete the head portion. You might think, oh, well, it's just got a body. Where's the head? It doesn't matter. It doesn't need it. Um, because if the body has the head, that's fine. Sometimes they'll actually be named body anyway, even when it's both together. So now I'm going to change the name of it to the, instead of the WS model, I'm going to change it to the rigid model and also it's 11. So I'm going to change that to 11 and I'm going to call it rigid underscore model underscore V2. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to change his weapon as well. Here's the standard. I didn't change that. I changed the scepter though. So I changed it um, just to make sure I'm going to rename, right click this and rename it to 11 as well. And now I can go to here, change this to 11 and then rigid model V2 as well. Okay, 
So now that I have that, he is in the game and he is wielding his new weapon. He looks differently. He looks the way he's supposed to. Now though, what we have to do to get our model um, kind of cleaned up a little bit or our mod cleaned up a little bit is I'm going to have to um, add his portraits because I don't want the portraits that he has. So that's why I took a picture inside the game or inside asset editor of him uh, to kind of use as my portrait. So what we're going to do is we're going to add from pack file again, right clicking. We're going to go to data because it's in data. Sometimes it's other data as we saw in the scrag. We're going to go to data and I'm going to go down to UI, which is here, alphabetical Andy. And we're going to go to portraits, faction leaders. Okay. So let's see. Oh, he's not in that one. That's fine. We're going to add from pack file, then it's going to be data probably three or so. That's where um, the scrag was. So portraits, faction leaders, Gestalton, his porthole, and his unit picture. All right, so we're going to go through and change these. But in order to change these things, we need to right click and we are gonna extract. Now we can extract it to anywhere, but I um, extract everything to the same folder. So that's been extracted. I'm going to extract this one. And I am going to extract this one. So all of those are taken care of. So what we can do now is if we go to our uh, data folder. It's just outside that and my screwing around. If we go to faction leaders, we can open this with GIMP or Photoshop or whatever you're using. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for his porthole. Open with GIMP. All right. And his unit card. Again, notice with these things is um, with his unit cards, they always they're always lower than the other ones because this, the like um, health or whatever is usually above it. So that's why there's like a lot of empty space. Okay, so now just like in the scrag video, I'm gonna go through and I'm going to cut a portion of this out, scale it down, and just cover up the other pictures. That's all I'm going to do. Now to uh, make it so that you don't have to watch that, I'm going to do that off camera and do a jump cut. Okay. So after a bit of fiddling with this, I have the, um, his faction leader, his porthole and his unit card. Um, I also, while I was at it, created a 256 by 256. And this is going to be helpful for me when I upload this uh, mod to the workshop. So now that I have these things modified again, I like to modify the ones that are already kind of in, uh, in the system. So that way, when I save this thing, I can just overwrite it. So I've overwritten the porthole, file overwrite his faction leader portrait, and file overwrite the... Um, unit card. This thing, I'm going to go ahead, file, save as, actually no export. I do that every time, export as. So here I'm going to go to my solid state drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Warhammer 3, data. And I'm going to save this thing as the name that I'm going to go with. So this is going to be masked pistachios. Um, Oh, great. I'm going to have to look up how to spell his name. K-O-S-T. Okay. There we go. Okay, Castalton Reskin. So this is going to be the name of my mod. So I might as well go ahead and save this as well. Again, this is a 256 by 256 PNG. Name the same as what my mod's going to be. 
Okay, so I've, I've um, saved these, overwritten the previous ones. So now I'm going to go back to Rusted Pack File Manager. I'm going to rename these. It doesn't really matter. Just change the name. Right click, rename. Just so that they're different, but they still leave the folder. That way, when I import the other one, I import them into the correct area. So let's start with the faction leader. We're going to add from file instead of data. UI portrait faction leader. OK. The porthole, do the same thing. Right click on it, add file. So we're going to do portholes. All right. And now we'll do the same for our units. OK. So it's a little brighter. I might want to change that, but eh, it doesn't matter right now. It's good enough for the time being. As you can see, his like foreground is quite dark, and his is fairly bright in comparison. So it maybe sticks out a little bit. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, delete this one, and delete the originals. OK, so I now have his portraits taken care of, and I have his uh, variant mesh changed, and the two prop, the prop and his rigid model in game. So that's all I have to do to get this thing going. At this stage, I'm going to go ahead and save Pack File Manager as. Again, it's in my Warhammer 3 data. And I'm going to name it Masked Mustachios Reskin, but get rid of that portion. So save. OK, now that I have that taken care of, I can pull up Steam, and I can go to the workshop. Mod manager. And I am going to upload this one. So I hit this. This is, yeah, graphical, sure, whatever, except. OK, that is good to go. If we take a look at my workshop, your files. You'll see these in um, yeah, my workshop files. You'll see these here. And we can make the visibility public. We can change the title and description. You should do that. Don't leave it like this. It looks bad. Um, but that is all that it took to get this uh, reskin going. Again, I didn't want to change any animations, didn't want to change anything else. wanted to leave him everything the same, just the looks are different. So thanks for watching.